So, I am finally returning to my film series on John Irvin. Last time we left off, he had returned to the UK to make what I can safely call the best Robin Hood film that I've seen so far. But sadly, that's not saying much. After that, he made the straight-to-DVD C-grade action film Freefall, starring Eric Roberts. And just like with Eminent Domain, it has all but disappeared into the ether. Oh well, on to his next film. But before I do that, I should say that when it comes to John Irvin's films, I've found that many of them are either small, character-driven British films, or else they're gritty, violent films done in the American style. Free Fall was the latter, and given how it turned out, it's really no surprise that John Irvin switched back to the former with his next film, Widow's Peak. The premise of this film is that in the 1920s, there's a small Irish town which is dominated by a group of rich old widows. As you can imagine, they're a bunch of snobs who have a lot of ideas on what proper behavior is. The most prominent widow in town is Mrs. Doyle Cunahan, played by Joan Plowright. For all her looking and sounding like a dainty, silly Irish woman, Mrs. D.C. is a tyrant of the village. She runs roughshod over everyone, including her son. One day, a very young widow, played by Natasha Richardson, moves into town, and the town collectively raises an eyebrow. But while she wins most of them over, she ends up in a hateful feud with Miss O'Hare, a social recluse played by Mia Farrow. Why the feud escalates so quickly, and really why the feud even exists in the first place, it's anyone's guess. The more we learn, the less it makes sense. Miss O'Hare is convinced that the newcomer is not who she claims, and even is convinced that the newcomer will kill her. Both women also have love interests in the form of a bumbling buffoon and Mrs. D.C.'s overshadowed son. The tone of this movie is a bit strange. In the first half of the film, it feels like an Oscar Wilde sort of comedy, laughing at an uptight society through the gaze of an outsider. But then the story morphs into a much darker and hateful tone. The rigid society stops being funny and becomes ugly, turning people against each other with a mob mentality. The illusion of silliness is stripped away, and we see these people for what they are. But that said, it's not exactly on the level of the usual suspects. I mean, revelations are made which are somewhat foreshadowed, but they still leave questions. Like, how much of these people's past actions are no longer genuine? When does the deviousness begin? How long was it planned? And how exactly does the epilogue work? I'm not going to be very specific with this. Just watch the movie and maybe you'll get what I'm talking about. In any case, plot questions aside, the movie is well filmed in a picturesque location. The actors are clearly having a lot of fun, especially Jim Broadbent as the bumbling dentist. Actually, he and Mia Farrow give us the funniest moment in the whole film. And a bunch of the other jokes in the movie work really well. In any case, Widow's Peak is definitely one of John Irvin's stronger films. While the tone shift can be a bit inconsistent, I think it does make sense given the story that John Irvin was trying to tell.